Hey guys, MKBHD here, back with another high definition video for the Droid Dog YouTube channel and DroidDog.com. And after Dustin's set CPU review, I was really tempted to let you guys know uh, my thoughts on set CPU. So today I'll be giving you guys my rundown of how I use set CPU to save my battery life. Now to the right of this uh, phone I'm holding right here, you can see a screenshot I actually took at the end of yesterday. And you can see how much battery I have left, which isn't much. But then you can see how long I was using set CPU and on this battery. I had this phone going for well over 12 hours without any hitches um, from when I took it off the charger at 7 in the morning uh, till well after uh, the sun went down. So right, I'll just go ahead and give you guys a walkthrough of my set CPU settings and how exactly I use it to save battery. Now when the screen is on, I do have it overclocked to between 600 and 800 megahertz. And I have it of course set on boot and my scaling is on demand. So there are a whole bunch of different scaling settings, and you can check out Dustin's review, which will be linked up uh, in this post, uh, to view the other settings and what they mean. Now I have only two profiles for my set CPU. One of them is the screen off profile, which I have at a higher priority, and the charging profile. Charging is about the same, except it's uh, at 20% priority, but the screen off profile is really the biggest battery saver. There is not much else you can do uh, and if anyone else has gotten such long battery life with any other methods, please let me know. But what I do is when the screen is off, so for example when I just turn the screen off like this, the processor really, really underclocks. And I'll show you, it's underclocked to between 150, or 125 and 250 megahertz. So it's scaled way down from the stock 550 megahertz. Uh, it's really chilling, your phone gets really cool, just chills. Um, and you really save a ton of battery that way. Now scaling is on performance mode because I do unlock the phone and I want it to be at 250 immediately. So your phone uh, will really just stay chilling between 125 and 250 megahertz. I have this on 100% priority and I hit save. Those are the two profiles you can use. Now you can use more profiles of course. Uh, Dustin showed you you can have a battery temperature maximum or a CPU temperature maximum where it automatically underclocks to prevent damage to your phone, but that's really all I use there. And of course I have profiles enabled. Under advanced, I really haven't changed that much. Under sampling rate, you don't want it to sample too quickly because that will actually begin to uh, take battery power. So if you sample too many times per second, uh, that will uh, start to you know wear down the phone a little bit. So I have it at the 300,000 instead of the minimum 30,000. I have the set CPU up threshold to 50%, zero to ignore nice load, and I have the power save bias to 820, so that gives you a good idea of type of battery you can get with 820. And that's about it for how I use set CPU. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how you can get the best battery life out of your phone while still getting some pretty awesome performance out of it. I don't actually use a set CPU widget, but you can use that to get a good idea of monitoring your temperatures. But overall, I really love this application and it's helped me save a lot of battery life and have my phone running all day. This thanks for watching this MKBHD video for the Droid Dog YouTube channel and DroidDog.com. MKBHD signing out. Peace.